grant more than four. So venting loops, put the minimum amount of air, well, I should put CO2 there. Does anybody still use air here? Any, any old dinosaurs around? Yeah. You shouldn't be using air. Me, me. It's not nice. Half and half. It's not nice. Methane will probably be more comfortable with the explosive. Um, <laughs> but minimal insufflation, it's again not rocket science. If you've got something which is tubular and bendy, you blow it up one side, the air goes the other side as well, the bend becomes more acute. So it's more difficult to get around. So don't even put your finger on the button more than a microsecond at a time. You don't need the bow. Like, again, it's like driving. You should be able to negotiate the bends, not open the whole thing and go down the middle lane all the way down the motorway. You want to creep your way around it. I often say to people, imagine there's a rock viler around every corner. And you don't want one weight to pass it up. So you're just going to creep your way in. My, my whole kind of concept of colonoscopy is to be in there and out again before they've even noticed. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Similar, next thing, minimal tip angulation. Has anybody, how many of you have looked at a colonoscope outside the body? Well, I know you've seen it. But how many of you have actually moved the up-down control and look at what happens to the tip? Well, you don't need to move it more than that much. Max. You go that much, 10, 15 degrees on the, on the wheel, you've got 90 degree bend on the end. A five-year-old kid will say, that is not going to go forward. You put more than like, the 10 degrees on it, it's like that. And that can never get forward. So minimal angulation... Anybody done advanced dri uh, driving lessons on tracks? Yeah? yeah? You've done the cones? Yeah. Yeah, where you go virtually straight, you don't deviate more than two degrees at speed. And most people go, well, round, and go around the next one, around the next <laughs> one. And, and that way you're just making loops. So minimal angulation, maximal torque. Other thing is, being a surgeon, it's quite easy to see. And I, I've got people saying, well, do you know that? Cobalt's mobile. I said, yeah, I've been operating on it for years. It's a very stupid way. We all stand on the left side of the patient we have done for years, since Victorian times or earlier. But actually, the colon's in a very stupid position on the left side, because basically everything is scrunched up on this side. But in fact, if you turn on the right side, the most difficult part is the rectal signal junction. It drops away. Not new to surgeons. And if the angulation goes more than 10 degrees, <coughs> don't even bother to try and get around it. Move the angle. Logically, we should do our colonoscopy on the left side, intubation, with the patient on the right lateral position. 